Hi everyone, it's Eva with something a little different today, namely a tutorial for five cool building and decor tricks in The Sims 4. They're all done without any custom content or mods whatsoever, which means you can easily create them in your own game. For all of these tricks, make sure you've got the following cheats enabled. bb.moveobjects, bb.showhiddenobjects, and bb.showliveedit objects. So first up is this toddler area I built a couple of weeks ago as part of my island villa, which lots of you guys loved. So here's how to do it. You start off by building a half wall of whatever height you prefer. To create a surface, you use the slab that comes with spa day. Size it up by using the square bracket key and raise it up by using nine. So fill the floor area up with the slabs. Bear in mind this means that this play area will not be functional for your sims, it's just decorative. And I also use the slabs for the stairs, which are basically placed underneath each other but always a little further out of the build. Then add some columns. And then type into the search bar, wood plank. Make sure you have the cheats on that I mentioned at the beginning of this video because otherwise these debug items will not show up. So use this plank to create the top, again like raising them up with the 9 key uh, and then also you can size it up um, or size it down whichever style you prefer. And then you can add a roof so to speak. I used the UV catcher wooden awning. Again raise it up and then you can add some decorations like fairy lights and curtains. Bear in mind that they are both wall decorations so they will snap onto walls, which means for the curtains I think you'll have to move the walls out of the way because otherwise the curtains won't be close enough to the wooden plank. So yeah, just move them out of the way um, and then you can place them freely. And in the final step, just put decorations in that you like by raising them with the nine key. Next are the almost floating bathroom sinks, but these are fully functional. Your Sims can actually use those. So use these kitchen cupboards in the smallest size. Just place them anywhere for now and then use this sink from Island Living and place it in the cupboards. And then by holding alt you can alter the height of the kitchen cupboards and just lower them so they're under the sink and not like halfway through the sink. And then also while holding alt again you can move the sinks further into the wall so that the kind of wall mount isn't showing. I usually add a mirror to hide the rest of the wall mount. And I also like adding this slab as a kind of handle. So it's again the slab from Spa Day and I size it down to the smallest size and then raise it with nine. And then just add decorations and ta-da! You're done with the floating bathroom sinks. The third build trick I have for you are open kitchen shelves like I did in my industrial loft. For that you just need the immaculate shelf. I recommend using five of those if you have high wall heights to match the height of the debug pole because otherwise it might get a bit tricky. But you can find this pole in the debug section. So for that type in debug into the search bar and set the filter to base game because that will make it a lot easier to find And then you have to scroll down quite a bit, it's quite far down, um, and there's two sets of fishing signs, and right before the second set of fishing signs, um, like two rows above, I think, there are these poles. Uh, they come in different heights, there's a short one and a tall one, um, and they come in four different colours, namely green, black, white and grey. For this we're going to use the small one and size it up once and then place a couple of them at the end of each shelf and if you want you can also add some in the middle so that they're fully like framed and covered. If you're more into like a an open look you can just use the debug pole in the size it comes and just add a couple of those to have like an even more open shelf and then you can start cluttering up with anything you like. 
Next up is a TV unit which uses the same items as the kitchen shelves I just showed you. So use the kitchen cupboards in the smallest size you can use any really. I like using these, oops, simple black ones or you can use these with the, like little things in them and you can either like keep this as a shelf or because I think there's like little lines in between the shelves on the right. I like using the immaculate shelf to cover up the top of the shelf. It's up to you. If you don't like it, you can leave it. <laughs> to create this TV unit shape, you can place the cupboards really wherever you want. I normally like when it's very irregular, not too symmetric. So for example, on the left, I like doing just shelves and then the right, I like the cupboards um, and the cupboards on top. But this TV unit is very customizable, so you can literally do whatever you feel like doing. So once you're done with all the shelves and the kitchen cupboards, you use the debug poles again from before. So again, go into the debug section, filter it to base game, um, scroll down to the second set of fishing signs, and right before that is the pole in the two different sizes. For this one, we're using the smaller one and sizing it up once, and then place a couple of those for the sides to make it a closed framed shelf again. But again, like with the kitchen, you can leave them open if you prefer that look. Just keep the original size of the pole and place a couple of those on top. And after that, it's cluttering and decoration time again. <laughs> And the final build trick I have for you is a cozy seating area in front of a window. There's actually two versions that I'm going to show you. They're both from my latest speed build and if you haven't seen that, please go check it out. So number one goes as follows. You place the lowest half wall and then you use this ottoman from the base game and then raise it up so it's like right above the half wall. I also like adding the spa day slab again to one side for a little bookshelf because otherwise there would be a hole and it like looks a bit weird. And this seating area is fully functional despite the half wall, but if you prefer the look of no half wall, I've got another option for you. So I recommend doing this. So instead of using the ottoman, you use this long ottoman from Spa Day, which kind of looks like a block. And you can place four of those by holding Alt and like move some into the wall so they don't start flickering and it's still fully functional so sims can sit on those and i like adding these pillows from toddler stuff to create like an even more cozy touch even if you have the pillows on top they're still functional areas i really hope you enjoyed my first tutorial with build and decor tricks for the sims 4 if you want to see more tutorials like this one give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments which items you'd like a tutorial for. And also, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe so you don't miss out on some of my new builds that I post every week. I really hope these tips were useful to you and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye!